The coastal municipalities and cities of Misamis Oriental boast of a lot of tourist destinations. But there are hidden gems as well. And they can be found right in front of our shores under the beautiful turquoise waters of Misamis Oriental. On this bright and sunny day, let me take you on this underwater tour of this hidden paradise. From the underwater springs of Medina, to the nudibranch Eden in Hingoog, to the World War II pontoon wreck in Talisayan, and of course, the high biodiversity shoal in Balingwan. This is episode one of the Limitless Underwater Adventures Travelogue. Our first stop for this dive trip is a quiet town about two hours drive away from Cagayan de Oro City. This is the municipality of Medina. Barangay Duca in Medina is famous for its pristine beaches and seascapes. But one thing that makes this place unique as a dive site is the presence of underwater springs, locally called Alibuag. For the first leg of our dives here, we are going to explore three sites, the aquarium, paradise, and the Japanese garden. The aquarium is famous for these freshwater springs coming out of cracks and fissures underneath the ocean. This freshwater spring mixing with the seawater creates a different and surreal diving experience for beginner and advanced divers alike. Diving in the aquarium is, as the name suggests, like being inside a big aquarium as pools of colorful anthias and damselfishes do their rhythmic dance against the currents while other colorful reef fishes swim about. These underwater springs also created a combination of marine life unique to the place. A soft coral garden and a hard coral reef all at the same place. The second dive site in Medina is called Paradise. Paradise is a dive site accessible to advanced open water divers because of its depth. The dive site consists of swim-throughs and channels filled with soft corals that provide a living wall or living arc. Here, the influence of the freshwater springs are also evident as areas away from the springs are dominated by hard corals, which are habitats for fish and other colorful marine life. But areas near the springs are filled with living garden of coralful soft coral. Exiting paradise, one is led to the statue of the Virgin Mary placed there by scuba diving Marian devotees as a sign of their faith and to protect divers and their environment as well. The shallow side of the reef, called the Japanese Garden, also exhibits the unique soft coral, hard coral combination of all of the dive sites and is home to the endangered hawksbill turtles, giant clams, 
and the much loved by underwater photographers, the colorful nudie prints. All in all, one diving day in Medina is not enough to really enjoy the splendor of its underwater world. The Duca Dive sites are serviced by DOT accredited Duca Dive and Aqua Sports and the Duca Bay Resort. Duca Bay has been a diving destination for many local divers, even before the establishment of the resort in 1998. One of the major reasons uh, to come to Duca Bay Resort really is scuba diving. Uh, to all the divers in our region, uh, I'm inviting you to come and visit Duca Bay Resort and also the D Duca Dive Dive Shop. On the second day, the team headed north to the city of Hingoog to visit a unique and world-class dive site. At the heart of the coastal city of Hingoog lies a pier like any other from the surface. The pier is a haven for local residents and weary travelers who want a relaxing day just being at the sea or fishing at its edges. The pier, however, when visited underwater, becomes a place like no other. It becomes a paradise of marine creatures making it one of the best-kept secret dive sites in Misamis Oriental. Underneath the pier lies a diversity of creatures that can rival the best dive sites in the Philippines. About 35 species of sea slugs and nudibranchs were recorded within a three-day period. These sea slugs and nudibranchs have made the pier their home that they now mate lay eggs, and even die underneath the pier. The pier is also home to a diverse array of fishes, from schooling sardines and jacks, to butterfly fish, giant puffer fish, lion fish, among others. of the pier area are adorned with living life of all colors, from the yellow polyps of the Tubastria coral to the purple tinge of sponges and red-orange hue of soft corals. And in each type of sessile animals, a vast diversity of undocumented crabs and shrimps even abound, truly making the Hingoog Pier a world-class dive site and an Eden for divers and underwater photographers alike. Um, as an underwater photographer, Hingoog Pantalan is a package of both macro and wide-angle photography. I wish to invite the uh, mga diver enthusiasts no, to uh, try Pantalan Hingoog. Uh, it's, it's a different kind of diving experience. Our, our dive site is uh, ideal for macro photography. Uh, you will uh, experience a lot of critters, na, real critters na makita ni mo sa underwater. On the third day, we head to another DOT accredited dive resort nestled in the municipality of Balingwan, the Mantangale Alibuag Dive Resort. This world class resort offers many amenities and one of it is their scuba diving services. Mantangale is uh, the premier dive resort in Northern Mindanao. It was started because of our passion for uh, diving and of course our efforts for the conservation of the marine environment. 
today, we're off to three dive sites. An offshore shoal right in front of the resort in Balingwan, a pontoon wreck, and a shallow reef in Talisay. Just a stone's throw away from the coast of Balingwan lies a shoal teeming with life. Banaog Shoal is for advanced and experienced divers due to its depth. Its top lies about 20 meters underwater and it's really a small shoal if compared to other shoals in the country. But don't let its size fool you. It may be small, but it's packed to the brim with marine life. Snappers, butterfly fishes, and damsel fishes are residents to the shore. Eels, turtles, and occasionally white tip sharks and eagle rays also pass by the area. Also filled with sea fans and gorgonians, with some gorgonians harboring the rare pygmy seahorses. A small shoal with high diversity, truly a world class dive site in our province. Here at uh, Santa Ines, uh, right now we call this dive site Santa Ines of Coral Garden. Um, the site is characterized by boulders like that. It's like a continuation. What you see underwater is like a continuation of what you see up here. But the boulders and the water are much more interesting. It's covered with lots of soft corals. And part of the reef is there's a World War II um, pontoon wreck. We're going to, ex to explore that as well. So. The Santa Ines pontoon wreck in the municipality of Talisayan has been underwater as far back as World War II. The wreck is accessible to advanced open water divers due to its depth of 30 to 35 meters. What you expect to be nothing more but a rusty piece of scrap metal is a beautiful tapestry of life forms that have converted every inch of the wreck into a dazzling array of color and light. Fans, sponges, whip corals, and even hard corals have made the wreck into a living habitat. But Santa Ines does not only have the wreck as a treasure. In the shallow waters of the area, we find a friendly but critically endangered hawksbill turtle. The shallow area of Santa Ines is also home to one of the extensive soft coral gardens in the province. This garden of soft corals is home to a multitude of fish that makes for a very relaxing end of a deep dive. Seascapes of Sipaka Point, also in Talisaya, follows the same characteristics as that of Santa Ines. With its flourishing soft coral gardens, the dive site is full of macro critters as well. The most interesting part of this site, though, is the presence of a big mound of rock 
that seems to mirror one of Misamis Oriental's iconic landmarks, the Sipaka Heights. Wow, that was such an amazing experience, but we've barely scratched the surface of the dive potentials of the province. We can maintain its beauty if we all work together so we can have limitless but responsible underwater adventures. So what are we waiting for? Tara na, let's dive! See you underwater!